with a tailwind, a plane can fly 960 miles in uh, three hours. Now, going against the wind, the plane can fly the same distance in four hours. Okay. So what are the wind speed and the air speed of uh, the plane? Okay. So obviously, we got an airplane problem going on here. we got the wind involved. Sometimes the wind's going uh, with us and sometimes the wind's uh, going against us. So that's going to obviously uh, influence the amount of time it takes us to get uh, to a particular location. So we're going to break all of this down in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's read it again. So with a tailwind, now let's just make sure we understand conceptually with a, uh, what a tailwind is. So here's our airplane, it's flying along in the sky. So we're talking about a tailwind and a headwind here. So a tailwind is if you're going this way, it's wind that's behind us. So uh, is it going to make the airplane go faster or slower? Well, obviously, it's wind to our back, so this is going to make the speed of the plane faster. Uh, likewise, if the, here's my airplane and I got a wind blowing, you know, into my uh, into the airplane, it's going to slow it down. So we just need to have some basic idea of the definitions here. So with the tailwind, a plane can fly 960 miles in three hours. Okay. Now, going against the wind, that would be called a uh, headwind, the plane can fly the same distance in four hours. So we're talking about the same distance here. Okay, so that's interesting. And what is that distance? It's 960 miles. Okay. All right, so uh, with the tailwind, okay, obviously the airplane is going to be uh, going faster. It takes three hours, okay, to do this 960 miles. And with the headwind, it takes four hours. So here's kind of like a basic uh, model, some sort of sketch. And then we want to uh, answer what? What are the wind speed? Okay, so here it's the speed of the wind. And then what is the air speed of the aircraft? Because air, uh, the aircraft is going at a particular speed. Okay, and then we have this wind speed that's either, either uh, slowing us or making us go faster or slowing us down. Okay. All right, so that is the problem. Now, of course, I'm going to refer back to the problem as I uh, uh, build out my equations here. But this is this is my uh, you know this is what I'm talking about building a model or a sketch something like this so you can kind of uh, see what's going on. Now, in algebra, once you learn how to do one style of problems, this is these are what we call motion problems. Um, you know, like very, very common. Okay. So once you get this problem down, uh, you'll see other similar problems like it. So in that, in, especially in ba basic algebra, algebra one, there's kind of a variety of problems, common type of word problems that if you understand how to solve one, you'll be able to, uh, uh solve others. Okay. So again, so the airspeed, all right, is going to be the ground speed of the airplane plus or minus the wind speed, depending on, uh, whether uh, it's a headwind or tailwind. Okay, now remember uh, that other formula that I said that we're going to be using. So rate times time is equal to distance. Rate is what? Rate is speed, if you didn't know what that is. Time, okay, is obviously time. And distance is things like uh, what we have right here, like miles, right? So one thing we want to be um, uh, careful about is, okay, we're talking about rate times time is equal to distance. Our distance is measured in miles. Okay, so this is important. Our time has been given to us in hours. Okay, so our speed is going to be miles per hour. Okay, miles per hour because I'm dealing with miles and hours. So uh, you got to be careful with the units of measure. Um, again, in this particular problem, we don't have to do any convert uh, conversion. Uh, but you may have to do uh, converting units of measure in other problems, okay? Again, I have other uh, videos, other word problems. You can check those out in my uh, playlist, but let's get to this uh, problem here. Um, all right, let's keep going. Now, 
The next thing is let's go ahead and assign some variables. So I said, let's let X, we'll choose this variable X. Let's let X equal the airspeed of the plane in miles per hour. Again, the speed we're dealing with miles per hour. And then we'll let Y, okay, uh, be the wind speed. Okay, so the wind, so let, let's just kind of uh, be a little bit uh, more precise with what's going on. So the airplane is going from here to here. Okay, so here's the plane. Uh, it's going like so, all right? Now, the wind could be like this, all right? It's going to be going at some mile an hour. So as the plane is going from here to here, it's and the wind is in this direction, it is what? It's, this is the tailwind. This is when it does it in three hours, right? Because it's faster. But the wind is still in this direction. So when the airplane returns, it's doing it in four hours, okay? So, but the wind speed is still constant and it's in one particular direction. Uh, so here's our plane on its return trip and now it's going against the wind. But the wind, again, is gonna be at one speed. So we could just say, okay, let's let Y be equal to the speed of the uh, the wind, and then we'll let x be equal to the air speed, okay? All right, so that's basically the two variables that I have. Now, let's go ahead and break this into a table, okay? Using tables is uh, really, really good uh, when we're dealing with algebra word problems. It's a great kind of graphic organizer. So again, uh, we want to be using our formula rate times time is equal to distance. But let me show you how I broke this up. So what do we got going on here? Well, we have wind. We have to have we have to consider the wind, and then we have the ground speed of the aircraft. Okay. Now, the ground speed would be like the actual speed it's flying. Okay, like how fast it's going uh, when we consider in when we consider the wind. Okay. Then we have the time right there uh, it took to uh, travel. Um, or complete the flight, and then we have the distance uh, the airplane uh, traveled. All right, so let's take a look at this wind situation. We have a tailwind. So the tailwind, remember, X, X is the speed of the airplane, okay? Remember, I just established those variables, and Y is the wind speed, okay? All right, so the ground speed it's kind of like the actual speed of the aircraft. So here, if uh, my airplane is going X and I have a tailwind, I'm going to have an additional uh, like speed added to my you know actual ground speed. So it's going to be X plus Y. So I'm actually going faster. Okay. So the rate, all right, when I have a tailwind is going to be X plus Y. The time, okay, when I have the tailwind, remember from the problem was three hours, okay? I was able to travel three hours. Now, the rate times the time, all right, rate times time is equal to distance. So here, my rate, again, is x plus y, and when I multiply it by three, okay, that is my distance, so it's gonna be three times x plus y. Now, some of you might have been like, oh, isn't that 960? Yeah, we don't wanna put that into our table right here. We wanna use our variables first. Okay, now, it's going to talk about a headwind. Now, headwind, we're going, our actual ground speed is going to be slower. So it's the speed of the, uh, the aircraft minus the wind. Now the wind is going into us, so we're going to be going slower. So the time it took for us to travel was four hours. Okay, But the distance is still rate times time. So it's going to be four times this x minus y. So that's going to be four times x minus y. Okay, now, um, hopefully, let's go back to the prom here. We know that the uh, distance travel was 960 miles, okay? So this distance right here, this distance uh, with the tailwind and this distance, they're the same, okay? Both of these right here are 960 miles. So we can use this table here to construct formulas. All right, so here we have 3 times x plus y, that distance, that's with the tailwind. That's, each, that's equal to 960 miles, and 4 times x minus y, that's the uh, distance with the headwind, that's also equal to 960 miles. So now, what do I have here? All right. Well, I have a basic system, okay, system of equations 
because I have both X and Y are as variables I need to solve for. Now, another thing, another little tip here um, is when you have um, more than one variable, the amount of variables you have in your problem, here I have two, I have an X and a, a Y, I'm going to need at least two separate equations, okay? That's kind of a general rule. So we're talking about a system. I have an X and a Y, so I need to have two, um, uh, two equations to solve for both X and Y, and this is it. So now if I can solve for X and Y here, and that is uh, going to be dependent upon my knowledge of systems, okay? So again, algebra word problems you know, involve all the things that you should be learning, all the sub-skills, but let's go ahead and now solve this system. All right, so we have, uh, this was our original setup. Now here, notice I have three times this thing right here. Now I could divide both sides of the equation by three and simplify the system. So that's gonna be x plus y is equal to 320. Okay, so in other words, I have this three. I don't have to multiply like that. I could just be like, okay, divide both sides of the uh, equation by three and let's just work with this simpler um, equation there. And then I'll divide both sides of the equation by four, and I got this simpler version right there. So now this is the system I want to solve, okay? Now you could distribute this four in. Uh, you're just going to be doing extra work. Again, in algebra, you always want to be thinking smarter, not harder. Okay, so x plus y is equal to 320, and x minus y is equal to 240. Let's go ahead and solve for x and y. And uh, hopefully, if you're really up to speed on solving systems, and you need to be, uh, to handle this particular problem, you can see I could just do the elimination method. I could just add these two down or add these two uh, equations together. By the way, if you're not quite sure what's going on here, you need to look at my uh, additional videos on systems, or better yet, just go into my Algebra 1 course in my Math Help program. But um, you can use a substitution method here or the elimination uh, or linear combination method. I have Tons of videos on that in my uh, YouTube channel and my algebra playlist. So if you're having trouble with this uh, algebra, check that stuff out. All right, so here I have x plus x, that's 2x. The y's are eliminated, plus y and negative y, that's 0y. Those go away. And then 320 and, uh, 320 and 240 is 560. So I have 2x is equal to 560. I can divide both sides of the equation by 2. So that gives me x is equal to 280. Now, what was x? Okay, let's go back up here. And remember, x was the speed of the airplane in miles per hour, right? Way back here. Remember, we, uh, we let x equal the, uh, that's the air speed of the plane in miles per hour. Okay, so we got that now. Okay, so the airplane, its air speed is 280 miles per hour. Now, I need to uh, solve for y. So when I'm solving for y, I can use any one of these equations right here. So let's say uh, I'll use this equation, x plus y is equal to 320. Okay, x plus y is equal to 320. So now that I know that x is equal to 280, I can just replace this x with 280 and solve for y. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So 280 plus y is equal to 320. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract 280 from both sides of the equation and that gives me y is equal to 40, okay, or 40 miles per hour. And if you recall, uh, that was the wind speed. So the airplane is going 280 miles per hour. So here's our little plane right here. It's going 280 miles per hour, and the wind is going 40, okay? Sometimes it's going 40 as a tailwind, or it's going 40 miles per hour as a headwind, okay? but the airplane is at 280 miles per hour. And that is it, okay? So this particular word problem, this is a little bit more involved because it did involve a system and there was two variables. Um, and, um, you know, this might be a little bit, uh, maybe a little advanced for some of you out there. Now, if you're reviewing algebra and you're uh, looking at word problems, you might want to start with some simpler uh, word problems. I have uh, multiple videos uh, different word problems in my algebra playlist and pre-algebra playlist. So check those out as well. Okay, so hopefully this uh, problem was uh, fun. Okay, you're like, yeah, it was lots of fun. Well, you know what I mean. Was it helpful? And if it was helpful in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscri uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time. 
My goal is to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Okay, nobody should be failing math these days. If you're doing the right things, take your notes. Okay, there's a ton of free resources out there for you to go uh, find the help that you need. Okay, uh, so there's a ton of options. If you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all the uh, videos that I've uh, made on my channel and I'm making stuff all the time. So that's why hopefully you'll become a subscriber. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.